Hi, I'm Brad Sugars and welcome to Growth Club. You know, planning your business is something that very few business owners take the time out to do. And so I want to congratulate you, first of all, for taking the day and investing in yourself and investing in your business. What we're going to teach today is we're going to look at uh, actually coming from the end result and working backwards. You know, if you ever read Stephen Covey's work, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, Stephen Covey said, you know, one of the biggest habits is they start from the end and work backwards or begin with the end in mind with his actual words. And so we teach a formula here at Action Coach, which is about success in life, but it also applies to business. And the formula is dreams times goals times learning times plans times action equals success. Dream, goal, learn, plan, act equals success. Yeah, write that down. So the reason this is important in today's message is because if we're looking at setting a goal for a business, we're looking at where the business needs to get to. I don't want to start with where we are today. You know, too often we sit with our goals and say, okay, today we're at, you know, a million bucks and we got to get to 1.1 or something like that. Instead of thinking, okay, where do I want this business to get to in the end? Now to do that, a lot of the times as the owner of the business, what we got to think of is what do I actually want out of the business? What do I want my results to be from this business? Now in thinking of that and really looking at it in big broad strokes, what are your dreams? You know, what type of house do you want to have? What type of car do you want? What trips do you want to be taking? How many vacations a year? How many days a week do you want to be working? See, we teach the definition of a business that a business is a commercial profitable enterprise that works without you. Now what that basically means is you got to build a business that is finished. By finished, we mean it works without you. Now, to finish the business and just have it work without you is of no benefit if it doesn't make your dreams and goals a reality in your personal life. Remember, the aim of business is to give you more life. The aim of the business is it's a vehicle to provide you with the wealth and the cash flow to end up with what it is you want to end up with. So, if you said to me, hey Brad, what I want to end up with is this type of house and this type of vacation. I want to have this type of lifestyle, these things, this. And it takes a little bit of time to do that. And I sat with you and I said, you know what, to do that, I think you're going to need to build a business that is this size. You're going to need to build a business that's 20 million a year and 5 million a year in profit. And you're going to have to have a cash flow like this and a capital value of X. Now, they're just some numbers we plucked out of the air. Of course, you got to invest some time, energy, and effort to sit down and work out what are your personal dreams? What are your personal uh, goals and things that you want to have happen in your life? And how can the business fund that? How can we build a business that pays for those things? Build a business that gives you the time off to do the things that it is you want to do. So that starts with the simple process of saying, what are my real dreams? What are the dreams I want? Let's imagine, okay, just plucking again numbers out of the air. We said, okay, we want to build a business that's going to be this size, 20 million with 5 million a year in profit. And it's going to take us eight years to do that. Just again, just plucking a number out of the air. You got to spend the time, energy and effort and part of your thinking today in Growth Club is, where do I really want to end up with the business? Where do I want this business to be so that it can fund the life I want? We just don't want to build a business that works without you. We want a business that works without you and funds the lifestyle that you want to have and funds the dreams in your life and the things that you want to have as part of your life. It's not just about building something that runs without you because if it's only making a million bucks a year and, you're, and your dreams are going to cost you two million a year, it doesn't match up. So come up with this idea. And let's say it's about eight years out, okay? We say it's going to be eight years. The business has got to be doing this revenue. It's got to have this level of profitability. It's got to have this many offices or shops or whatever it might be. It's going to be in this many countries or this many cities. And all of a sudden now you got a picture of where in eight years the business needs to be. What does it need to look like eight years from now? And what do the numbers need to be? So then what we do is we work backwards. Okay, we sit down and say, okay, if it's got to be doing that revenue at eight years, what has it got to be doing at seven years? What has it got to be doing at six, at five, at four, at three, at two, at one? And then from one, we break it down. What's it got to be doing end of Q4, end of Q3, end of Q2, and end of Q1? 
You know, it's not that complex when you work backwards. See, too often when people set goals that move from here today forward, they don't make massive goal setting because they're working forwards. Working backwards from what you actually want to today, you might realize that, hey, eight years really isn't long enough or eight years is too long. Okay? You might work out that, hey, the size of that business is actually much easier to achieve than I really thought. So once you've worked backwards, now you're starting to set goals, okay? So you know what your dreams are, you know what it is you really want to have happen out there in the world. You can then start to set goals. The business got to do this number by this date. From that, then we can start to sit back and say, okay, now that we've got those goals, what other goals do we need? Well, there's another formula we teach, which I'm pretty sure you're familiar with, and that is our five ways formula. Leads times conversion equals customers, customers times number of transactions times average sale equals revenues, and revenues times margins equals profits. So leads, conversion, average sale, number of transactions, and margins are our five items. So here's what we want to do. We want to make a list in one column of what are my current numbers in the five ways. What are my current five ways numbers? And then we want to go out to year eight. At year eight, what do my five ways numbers need to be in order to achieve that revenue and that bottom line? In year seven, what do they need to be? In year six, in year five, year four, year three, two, one, and then Q4, Q3, Q2, and Q1. So we're working backwards and really developing a business plan and a marketing plan and setting the goals for our business based on real dreams, real outcomes, things that we want to have in our personal life. Now, by the way, if you're one of those people that struggles with dreaming, don't panic, okay? It's not hard. It's pretty easy to do. Start with what you don't want and flip it over into what you do want. Well, I don't want to be broke. Great. What do you want to have? I want to have a million in the bank. Fantastic. You know, dreams goals, then learning. So now you've got your goal eight years out, okay? Eight years from now, I want to have this numbers. I work backwards with my overall numbers. I work back and build my five ways numbers. Now what we look at is, uh, hang on, what have I got to go and learn? What do I have to learn to make that a reality? And of course, I'd, I'd like you to fill in the whole business plan. Chat with your coach about planning club, about how you can put an online business plan together. Uh, your coach will take you through it. It's a simple process. You can do it in two days or you can do it over 12 weeks, whichever way, speed way or take the time way. It's up to you to look at how to put that together. But once you know what it is that you got to learn, then you can put the plan in practice, okay? Now let's imagine you worked back and you said, okay, my five ways numbers are going to be this at the end of Q1. My conversion rate's currently at 27%. I got to get it to 31% by the end of Q1. Fantastic. Now you've got an actual plan. Now you've got an actual thing to say, this is the plan that I want to build. This is where I want to move to. Now I know what I actually need to do with this stuff. My average sale is currently this, it's got to be that. My number of transactions is, my lead flow is, all that sort of stuff. You know, oftentimes as business people, we get stuck in the mode of, you know, looking from today forward. And when you look from today forward, what you see is the problems, what you see is the challenges. And you see, I've got to fix these problems rather than, hang on, no, no, I need to actually focus on what's going to get me to my dreams and what's going to get me to my goals. Once we start setting these numbers in place, all of a sudden it changes. All of a sudden we're no longer focused on the little problems we have around us. We can delegate off the little problems we have around us. We're now focused on the real things that make us real money and get real results for our business. See, a big part of Action Coach is about real people getting real results. And as you're one of those real people, it's about you getting real bottom line results for your business. So I think it's important for us to understand that. See, when I first started learning goal setting and understanding it, I looked at it from a perspective. Well, I actually personally set a goal that was a negative goal. I never wanted that to happen again. So it was like, I, you know, for a business owner, it might be I don't want to work 80 hours a week or I don't want to have an overdraft or, you know, I just want to pay the bills. These are negative goals, okay? And all you end up achieving is the reality of that becoming a part of your life. I learned at age 16 to move into positive goal setting, you know, what it is you want to have happen. So instead of, I don't want to work 80 hours a week, I want to be working six hours a day, four days a week. Instead of, I don't want to have an overdraft, I want to have, uh, at the end of the month after bills are paid, I want to have three months cash flow profit, three months cut expenses sitting in the bank account. 
uh, in, instead of I want to just be able to pay the bills, I want to be making 15 grand a month in extra profit. Now, that to me is what we got to be looking at as, as level two goals, the positive. Ultimately, we get to the legacy goal, and that is achieving your dreams, achieving and leaving a legacy for, for behind you, building a business that works without you, giving people jobs, doing all those wonderful things. You know, I want to congratulate you too, especially those of you who have employed more people this month. Anyone that's added jobs this quarter, congratulations. You're doing a fantastic job for yourself, your business, and the world around you because adding jobs is one of the greatest gifts we can give to the marketplace as business owners. But getting to that legacy goal, building your dreams and making that, take your dreams and work backwards from there. Don't build your business based on where it's at today and where you think you can get it by the end of the quarter. No, start with your dreams, work them back to goals, then you know what you gotta learn and you know what the plan should look like and then you get to work. Hey, Growth Club's a lot of fun, it wouldn't be fun without you. Uh, make sure you start following me on my podcasts, uh, The Apprentice Billionaire is one, or jump on FaceTime or Insta and follow me on Drive Time. I get to chat with you every single day. Have a great quarter, build a great plan, get to work, chat to your coach more often and hey if you want your coach to be training your team they get results with you a lot faster chat with them about training your team today bye for now have a great quarter